Alice Gray and welcome to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of salad shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. Compared to other animals, we tend to think of humans as having a very poor sense of smell, with dogs having over 300 million smell receptors in their nose, compared to only 6 million in us. But the human nose can give a surprising amount of information, even giving us an insight into the emotions of other people. When we breathe in, air passes over the skin within our noses, which contains millions of receptors which bind odorants in the air. Within the human nose, we can find up to 400 different types of smell receptors, which can detect up to a trillion different smells. And through this system, smells can trigger emotions and memories, and they can also help us to experience the feelings of others. When we're scared, we release hormones or pheromones in our sweat, and the olfactory system can detect these hormones, and this gives us an indication of whether there's something dangerous in the area. When our olfactory system detects these hormones, it causes our fear centre, the amygdala, to become active. These circulating fear hormones in the air are almost making fear contagious, because someone else's fear can make you feel scared. In fact, if we take sweat samples from people who are about to take their first skydive and get people on the ground to smell those samples, their amygdalas become active. And interestingly, if you take sweat samples from people watching funny films and scary films, volunteers who are asked to smell those sweat samples can tell you that they smell different, but they can't tell you why. So even though humans have an inferior sense of smell in comparison to other animals, our noses are giving us more information than we think. Not only does our sense of smell help us detect inedible food or dangerous chemicals, it gives us an insight into the people around us, but it doesn't stop there. Smell can actually prevent incest. And you heard me correctly. Our genetics influence the chemicals we give off in our sweat, giving us our personal odours, and therefore we smell similar to our family members. And as an inbuilt evolutionary safety mechanism, our sense of smell can help us to detect our family members, because this will help us find a suitable mate. And because our personal odour gives us an indication to how genetically similar we are, to prevent inbreeding, we're more likely to be attracted to people who smell completely different to us. So now you've got to grips with the fundamentals of pheromones. Stay tuned for the next episode of Grey Matter.